is fucking bullshit. You're here? Everyone here? Do I have to make a new uh, link for you guys? Please, please tell me you're here. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of the, the meme goal. We, we, we don't need this anymore. It's a meme goal. Oh, I need to make a new stream. Oh, oh my god. Let's pop this chat out. Oh my god. This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh god, I really fucked the night up. I mean, if it's a new like, I'll, I'll, I mean, it's not gonna be a big deal, but. There we go, that. Oh my god, I have to do so much work now because of fucking, not so much work, but this is like work I really shouldn't have to do. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, I don't feel bad. I, I just feel annoyed that, like, OBS really. Not OBS. Elgato really fucked me over with that. Because I. I <sighs> Dude, why is my. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. Okay. There we go. Oh, here. Alright. Let's start. <laughs> Jeez, even even Sam is, is is annoyed. I I agree, Sam. Let's check on BB. Is he, is, this is his room. Yeah, this is where you sleep. You sleep on the bed. Let's leave the private room. We're out of here. There is a two to three second delay I think that's good. Oh no. Let's do that. You put a baby and I'm already scared. Hey, the baby helps you, dude. Sam, the 
west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Ejnon City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Okay. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I for one would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, I'm needed to remain in I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Okay, the thing that, that uh, Sam eats is a cryopod. It's this little thing. You eat it, makes you feel good. Okay, so this is the story one. Let's both. Fuck it. A water beer? <laughs> Alright, let's see, what do I need? I think I get I can use new boots. All terrain, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm all for that. Let's see. Get one anti BB anti BTS. Yep. Get a, get a few more of those. Uh we'll take a truck. We'll take a truck. It looks like it, uh, like eating a caterpillar. Yeah, like that's what it is, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Equip. Yeah, equip that. Carry on. No, oh, you could put the. Hang on. Yeah, right there. This is going to go on the back. You gotta carry a body. Is that a rap body? Yeah! Dude, you carry bodies. You carry bodies in this game. Alright, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry. She won't go necro. Oh, shit. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. <laughs> By the way, that her she the woman that gave me the body she was in once upon a time in hollywood she plays one of the characters in that movie great fucking movie check that movie out it's gonna go on netflix it's like it's a good whoa 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 what is what is this oh, let's, let's carry that all right This is Hmm. 
ruined cabin. Keep on keeping on, dude. I need to get another white. Shit. The truck may not be the idea. Okay. 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 Uh oh. Okay, fine. The truck can stay here. We'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll go on foot. The way God intended. Whoa, 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 whoa! All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. May have been a uh, bad call. Maybe. May have been a bad call. <sighs> Weapons restrictions lifted. Yeah, I I, I don't know. What was we collecting lifted. there? Oh, we'll see. There. Don't worry. I don't worry about the corpse going necro where it's gonna cause bigger problems and bigger BTs. I don't have to worry about that, so I'm good. Go with that. That's the one thing the game tells you, like the game gives you uh weapons to kill people, but then they tell you, hey if you do that, you're gonna cause more BTs. There we go. And no one wants more BTs in their life. Okay, so... We're gonna have to go into the BTs. I feel like we're gonna see the BTs. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with them. I probably should have left the body in the truck. I, I just realized the issue with this already. But we're gonna do the challenge. This is the challenge run of Death Stranding, okay? This is the point of the game, is to, is to, challenge, to be challenged. You don't wanna make this game too easy. I mean, I have a bait. I have BB. I can I can sense the BTs better than I could before. I mean, if this was before, it would be a terrible idea to go through anything without BB is, is rough. A dead lady, yeah. Shit. Bam. Oh my god, okay. 
He's so happy. That's right, the baby's having a blast. Okay, well, the, well, the, well, baby's happy now. We, we need him happy. Big ups to BB. I don't have a PVC, so I can't make a generator. Shit. That, that... Cold. Yeah, That's Sam, cold. it is cold. Great deduction. If I had a uh, PVC... Shit. Oh, well. How far am I in this? Okay, so I'm in the area. My other use game and do stuff in the team. That's cool. Let's see how many likes we can give this person. 360 likes. <sighs> Sam, you can do it. Sam, I believe in you. Sam, Sam. Sam, you can do it. Sam, I believe. Sam, Sam, I believe in you. You can't climb up. Shit, no! Eyes open, dumbass. That's okay. That's all right. I thought there was going to be a ladder up here. So this was a boss. Shit, no! God damn it! Lou, I'm sorry.
Okay, that was not the right way to go. Fucking bullshit. I I could that I thought there was gonna be a ladder up there. That person fucked BB. Me and BB were were, were solid. We're a solid unit. He understands that it's a mistake. BB's a smart baby. That's why Deadman was so attached to BB. Because he knew he was a huge genius. He was the man as BB. Smartest BB ever. Shit, I'm a battery with me. Well, it's fine. I just need—I just need to find what I need to find. How, how many things do I need to find for this? Oh, not cargo. Whoops. Orders. That's a fifty percent. Collect uh, winter clothes. Okay, so I, mean, I guess I'm just co collecting, like, shit. The exact location where these things are. Oh man. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, come on, I was walking just fine. I was walking up just fine, and then when I try to climb up on something, he slides all the way down. I just want to find what I need to find. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. please. Just fucking okay. Phoebe's gonna have to relax. I'm sorry. He's gonna have to do it on his own. These clips are suspect. I agree. They put him there, so you have to like find the other way. No, 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 no. The come on, come, come on, come on, come. Really, I can't stop. I can't stop.
Oh, come on! Okay, oh, okay. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this mission. We're doing the story mission. I, I, I try. I'm sorry, Lou. Blame the game, dude. Bullshit. I I was just fine. Oh man, this 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 is fucking ridiculous. Let's see, where's my car? Going back to the truck. You don't need to be miserable the whole night. You don't. Uh, I think I could probably do it if I went in another direction. But I, I, I just don't feel like doing this, this, this particular order. I will say it does a good job. Like, you know, the, the main story missions, you can at least be like, okay, we're doing something that's like, relevant to what you're trying to do while uh the side missions are like okay a little bit more challenging By the way, if you are going to tip, you can. You will get notifications this time since I'm going through OBS. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to give you shoutouts. I mean, I'll have to like go on my phone to see because I don't want to like kind of go to my Streamlabs right now the way it's set up. I will give like a uh, a custom shoutout by the end of the stream. How about that? I'll keep it. Keep it all fair and square. If anyone wants to uh, tip, if you want to tip the two dollars to be part of the viewer canvas, you can because all the stuff that you tip is going to be uh, documented on my uh, uh, streamlabs. So if you all, if you want to uh, have a character that's included on the viewer canvas, you can always add it. I'm not going to uh, turn that away. Just as a, uh, just in case someone wants to do it. Pick up Snake. Hold on. Hint, hint. Uh oh. Hold on, I'm going, going to stream up right now. I feel like I, uh... <laughs> oh, I saved the bun? Oh, thanks for the uh, $2 tip, Nick. Uh, Nick SF. Bun ups. Thank you. Sorry I cannot give you, like, <laughs> immediate. But you get the you get the alert. So you get the, uh, the alert. I'm always thankful. I'm always thankful. So I, I don't want to uh, come off as, as ungrateful. I'm always thankful, no matter... No matter what.
But, uh, you know, I, I got built stuff. Thank you, thank you, Nick. It, make, it makes the hike much better, knowing that I got $2. You know, like, before it's like, okay, I'm doing the hikes, I'm doing, I'm going back and forth. The $2 made it worth it now. Now, now I feel like it's like a dollar, dollar halfway, dollar back. $2, uh, in total. Cleo will remember this. Cleo, in a lot of ways, is like RBB. She's RBB, dude. If you think about it, Cleo is pretty much RBB. So, if there's ever, like, a Death Stranding event going on, I'll be safe because I got Cleo. She's my bridge baby. She's gonna tell me where the where the BTs are. She's like, the, human, human, the BTs right over there. Watch out! And I'm like, oh shit, Cleo, you're right. I'm gonna go on my merry way. There's my truck. I'm gonna fix BB stress. Don't worry. Okay, I want to look at, at BB, Sam. Like, imagine this was Cleo, you have to hold her like she cries. Oh, man. Back in the car we go. Back in the car we go. Right on. God damn, we're back on foot. <laughs> we're back on foot. That was close. I'm glad I'm glad Lou is laughing about that. Oh man, you almost fell over, Dad. No. I agree, Sam. I agree. Tractor, dude. Hey. Well, maybe. Maybe he is. Shout out to Conan O'Brien for giving me the uh, otter mask. Big up to you, Conan. Oh. Conan. Conan. I think, uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if Inner Vision is a Conan fan. Inner Visions, if you're still in chat, tell me, are you a Conan O'Brien fan? Because uh, he's in the game, dude. Okay, where, where is Hartman? 
Okay. Okay, I'm going the right way then. It's a monster, Sam. I think that's what Lou needs. Lou needs some monster energy drink. That way he'll be happy. He'll be more happier. dialogue Sam has in uh, the gameplay. God damn it, man! <laughs> That's so... That, that I love. I love the uh, small details like that. on the road, Sam. We're making our way to Hartman. We gotta find out who Hartman is. We gotta see more of Hartman. slowly but surely. Oh, oh, oh god. There's heart, man. Oh, oh. Wait. got a nice place going on here.
This one is that of that house from uh was it Frank Floyd Ray? Uh you know the house that's like on on the map on the waterfall? It's like that. It really does remind me of that house. I remember my parents took me to that house when I was a kid and they put me in the kids section. I couldn't see the house for myself. I felt really bad. I was doing another mission. I fucked everything up. Would have been an S otherwise. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Thermal pack. What does that do? Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Good work. <laughs> oh, she have a minute left. Okay, I see. Finally, see Heart Man. Bam! Episode 8. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> 
I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing we were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like BT. Oh, I think you know what that is. And this was Mama's? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sal. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned Clifford Unger his misery and hatred combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst 
have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just... Relax until I come back. Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me know. Dead air? Yeah, he's giving us dead air, dude. It's fucking bullshit. Good thing uh, Hartman doesn't ask for tips. You know what I mean? So, so that little like test tube where it's like, oh, well, this little cord. Mama had a umbilical, like, had a connection to her baby. Her baby was this, like, BT thing. So, she had to slice up the baby, the, the umbilical cord, with the baby. I think that little cord that she had between that and the baby was the, was the thing she had. That's what it was. Pretty cool. What are those? BT model artist impression. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. I do like that. I'm gonna take a little snapshot on that of that. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at that Ludens figure. Nendroid Jumbo Ludens. Whoa. Wait a second. Oh, come on. Let's move, move back in there. I think you had a game collection there, dude. I like the music is uh get a minute I took I took no look at this game but it's, it it is so interesting. I love this game. I love how weird it is. The style, the way that it looks, I like the like the thing he has right here. Oh, so cool. Now look. Is it 218,550? Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I maybe used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Dedication, evolution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. 
Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. I play games, dude. Watch films? Sam is a gamer. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection dude, of I want to know if those are all real movies. television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. 20 minutes of love. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through. Oh my god. My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. I woke up on the beach. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. Hmm. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prep station in this area. 
Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Hey, Goober. <laughs> Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole really incident defied explanation. I think Higgs is to blame. I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the Damn, dead. he's dead again. <laughs> Shit. Well, this is like three minutes. You can wait. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mentor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. <laughs> oh, he was dog twenty likes. <laughs> we received twenty likes. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. That's so. <laughs> oh. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Transporting an antimatter bomb. Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. 
Apparently the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now hopefully I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high yield explosives, but in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. I can't do vehicles. I can do that, but. Whatever. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten. But you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it via carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. There you go. Where am I going now? There. circumstances he would have died therapeutic hypothermia saved his life but the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him perhaps due to the shock his doom's abilities seemed to have increased and now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family my apologies Sam you came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death, extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCorn. <laughs> Oh, that's that's cool. More more BTS. I I love I love BTS guys. You know, when I was playing this game, I was like saying to myself, "Man, I I hope you see more BTS." Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna make a generator. Where is the generator? I'm gonna take a uh, stream labs just to make sure I'm not missing anything. You know, saving the bun is is what we're all about here. In uh, I just I just want to go to uh, my dad's. 
So I want. Okay, we go. Save the fuck, yeah. As I said, uh, BB and Cleo are like the same. That's how I see, see Cleo. I see Cleo as my BB. It's like, hey, you know, if Death Stranding ever happens, Cleo's gonna help me. Time. The BTS bands are coming. Good to have you back. Couldn't have made it this far without you. I'm not, I'm no, I'm not scared of any DTs. Give you a little tricky trick. Bam! Cut the ability core, baby! See that shit? Oh fuck, look at all these BTs. for that. Maybe. <gasps> Bam! Cut the cord. You're out of here. say like I, I've gotten more more uh, uh, confident in cutting the cord of the BTs I was like afraid to do it and then I got good at it and then it's like BAM
that. Oh, that one's probably coming. Like, what happened to my buddies? Same run. That did not. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. No, no. I don't, I don't think I have any more P, uh, PVCs, unfortunately. That is what it is. Hell yeah, we did it guys. Yeah, I don't have any more PVCs. Can't make a generator, guys. BTs. You know what? This calls for a victory piss. I made that mushroom, guys. Like the mushroom. If if you play this game, find that mushroom and like it. I want to see when I boot up this game again. I want to see likes on that mushroom, guys. Just so you guys know, find that mushroom and like it.
shit! Please tell me I don't have to go at the beginning of the fucking, uh... I got too excited. Oh no, I think I have to start at the beginning of the BTs. Oh, thank you, Kojima. Guys. Hmm. Thank, thanks, thank you, Kojima. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I don't go too crazy. Oh, my God. That That's a good checkpoint. Big ups. Oh, my God. That saves so... I was afraid of the BTs again. My boots are going. Like, I'm gone. Okay. Clear me to do. Yeah, Cleo was telling me to hurry. She was like, Theo, you gotta move this bomb very quickly. Hurry. Oh. Oh shit, Lower Roar song. Dude, I will say, Kojima made me like Low Roar. I love the music. I love their music now. Appreciate it, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Exactly. Ooh, S, baby, S. Oh, 
oxygen mask. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling what the oxygen mask is. You can wear it when you're going through BTs, and you don't have to like worry about your stamina depleting. I have a feeling that's what it is. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study. And I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with the contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna stop here, guys. So I'm gonna save. Make sure we're saved. Save complete, okay. Well guys, thank you for coming out. Thank you for watching the stream. Even if you stuck around after that hiccup we had earlier thank you for watching uh it was a fun one i will again thank nick sf for the uh two dollar tip earlier blackest eyes i'm sorry you just got here i'm sorry that we missed we that we missed uh connection again i'm sorry sorry the blackest eyes uh it's 12 51 a.m my time. I don't plan on staying up till like fucking 3 a.m. tonight. <laughs> but thank you for coming out. I really do appreciate you guys coming out to the uh, art, to the gameplay streams and the streams in general. Uh, you can always catch my uh, archives later. I think I made one unlisted by mistake. I'm gonna make that public after this uh, stream is over. So uh, there you go. There's there's that. Uh, I also want to say, hold on, I'm gonna actually change this to this there there you go um i want i want to say that i got some some big news coming up in a, in a week or so i i have to find out I, i'm gonna have to go out to, to this place to uh, do this but i might be putting up pre-orders for the season one viewer canvas physical stuff so you can put a pre-order down and you'll get it uh, I'm not gonna put it live on my Gumroad store just yet, but I'm looking into that, and I saw that you could do pre-orders, and I was like, wait a second, I can do pre-orders. So, once I get more solid information on, on printing the stuff and all that, I'll put the pre-orders up, I'll do a whole video on that as well. But I want to make a, an announcement of that, because I think that's, you know, that's something I've, I've been wanting to do, is to do a, um, physical release on of something so that's going to be coming soon shortly so that'll be exciting uh prayers will be coming up soon eventually so there you go there's that 
Uh, hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, but I always say thank you guys for coming out to the stream, watching the videos, all of that good stuff. Uh, thank you, the Blackest Night, the Blackest Eyes, for coming out be as late. Thank you, Goober, for coming. Thank you, DJ Filthy Rich. Thank you, Nick, for the $2 tip. And thank you, Sponge the Bob, for coming out. I always appreciate you guys coming out to the streams. Thank you guys for watching. I might do a stream tomorrow, though. So, I don't know what time, but I might be doing a stream then. Uh, keep, you always can keep an eye on my Twitter, and I'll always post updates there. So, there you go. Hope you guys have a good night, and be safe, and have a good one, everyone. You looking fresh. Oh, is this, it's this, uh, fleece. My dad had this, and it looked really cool, and I wanted it, so I was able to get it. It was pretty cool. Uh, so, anyways, thank you guys for coming out. I'll see you guys when I see ya. Good night.